Hi, I'm Jim, and welcome to the first episode of Do The Law. Today's topic is Chaos Knight and the Four Fundamentals. A long, long time ago, two primordial energies known as the Radiant and the Dai were having a big-ass battle across an entire plane of existence. So these ancient dude bros called the Fundamentals, which exist in this very high plane, got sick of their shit and trapped them in this thing called the Mad Moon, and they set it orbiting around a random planet, which turned out to be Earth. So for a long time, there's peace. But then around the time life begins cropping up on Earth, the primordial forces bust out of the Mad Moon, and they rain dire and radiant crystals all over it. These crystals are full of the primordial's power, and beings that come in contact with them grow smarter and eventually are given the ability to wield things like magic. People that come into contact with the crystals for a long time eventually morph into mindless creeps, building monuments to the crystals called Ancients and seeking out opposing Ancients to destroy. More powerful beings known as heroes are manipulated less directly by the crystals, and are drawn into the eternal conflict between Dire and Radiant in various insidious ways. With that in mind, let's get to Chaos Knight. Firstly, Chaos Knight is one of the four fundamentals that you can play as in Dota, remembering that the fundamentals are the dudes that originally locked the Dire and the Radiant away in the Mad Moon. As a fundamental, Chaos Knight only exists as aspects of his true self spread across a near infinite number of planes like, like Butter. He was originally drawn out of his realm in pursuit of a being called the Light, which escaped the fundamentals realm for reasons unknown. This enraged Chaos Knight, so he took his pony Armageddon and he set out after it, seeking to extinguish it and spread chaos across the many planes of the universe. If the light sounds familiar, that's because it's taken up a cunning disguise as an unassuming old man called Ezalor, who has not so cunningly taken up the title of the Keeper of the Light. Not the best disguise. Unsurprisingly, Chaos Knight has successfully hunted down and extinguished thousands of instances of Ezalor already. However, I don't think he's aware how far off he is from infinity. As pretty big number, even for Chaos Knight, the most powerful of the fundamentals. So Chaos Knight's role in the war between the Radiant and the Dire is fairly neutral. He was just correct in assuming that Ezalor would be attracted to such a huge battle. Upon finding that Ezalor had aligned himself with the Radiant, Chaos Knight took up the banner of the Dire and now seeks to confront him on the battlefield and extinguish him. Now for a couple of tidbits. The four fundamentals are Chaos Knight, Keeper of the Light, Enigma, and Io. It's likely that these correspond to the four fundamental forces of the universe, since they exist almost mutually exclusively. Enigma is the fundamental representing gravity. Io is the fundamental, as described in its law, representing a sentient manifestation of the charge that binds particles together, the strong nuclear force. Keeper of the Light constantly radiates light, representing the weak nuclear force. And lastly, Chaos Knight is the fundamental representing not giving a fuck. Little feet, little footprints. Lastly, each of the four fundamentals in Dodo are simply aspects of their true forms, and as such, they all possess the ability to summon more of themselves to assist in battle. Io summons spirits, aspects of itself that deal damage to enemies. Keeper of the Light's true form allows him to summon another aspect of himself to charge his illuminate for him. And finally, Enigma's demonic conversion tears creeps into his realm, corrupting them with his essence and twisting them into smaller versions of himself. A spell you may recognize if you've encountered supporters of the Collingwood Football Club, or if you've ever seen a child being forced to wear Crocs. Anyway, that's it for Chaos Knight Law. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode or I missed anything, let me know in the comments because the lore is spread out over the paragraph that you get with the hero and unit responses and other heroes' unit responses, so it's really hard to get everything in one video. So I spent a couple days researching and I just kept finding stuff. It's so freaking cool. I encourage you to go and read all the lore in this game because it's, what's well, Valve? It's fucking Valve. I mean, like, what? You think that... Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Check out other videos and, I don't know, subscribe. I'll make more of these if you like it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.